Hey guys, Pat here. So, let's talk about Kevin Spacey, or shall I say, Kevin Replacey? <laughs> uh, uh. Anyway, this is from Deadline. Shocker, Kevin Spacey dropped from All the Money in the World, J. Paul Getty role, recast with Christopher Plummer. If you haven't heard of this movie, and I don't think a lot of people have so far because it's not getting too many hits on social media and the trailer didn't get, you know, a bunch of hits. And it's just that kind of movie. It's a low-profile film that they're trying to uh, push during uh, late December to give it an Oscar campaign and hopefully some uh, uh, nominations during the award season. So that's kind of the plan. So they're not pushing the movie too much yet. But Ridley Scott already did Alien Covenant this year. Um, this is him coming back with a drama film um serious film not a not a big budget sci-fi film like he's been doing recently and and really think about it prometheus martian and alien covenant were all pretty close together um the last film he made that i can remember being kind of like this seems to be american gangster and i know what about the counselor where well, the counselor was a very like specific type of movie written by uh, Cormac McCarthy to have a certain kind of dialogue and tone and stuff like that. And a lot of people hate that movie, and, and it's a just a weird movie to me. But that that's... I, I, I wouldn't compare this to that in a lot of ways. That's a, that's a very uh, esoteric kind of uh, designed movie. Uh, this, this film, on the other hand, on the other hand is uh, actually... Uh, Seems like a pretty uh, traditional movie in a lot of ways and about real events. And uh, if you don't know who uh, uh, Getty was, then I'd suggest looking. What very interesting guy. Had a lot of money. Had a lot of money. Um, so uh, Kevin Spacey was going to play him in the movie. Um, and they have makeup on him and everything in the trailers. Now, apparently uh, he filmed for like 10 days. So because of all the controversy that's coming out over Kevin Spacey, which there is a lot of, and uh, everyone firing him. Um, he's been fired off House of Cards. Um, I think he was working on another movie that they recently, uh, they just kind of took him out of the uh, marketing campaign. Um, they're replacing him now with Christopher Plummer, the great Christopher Plummer, one of our finest actors in the world, I feel. And um, he's going to be playing the role now, probably without the makeup. I think he looks pretty close, actually, Um well, Kevin Spacey was gonna have to wear a lot of makeup. They're very hopeful for this for this move me to uh, for this movie to do well critically and financially, and um, I'm thinking they're hoping it's gonna be like uh, like I said some Oscar nominations. Mark Wahlberg's in it. Michelle Williams. Um, I haven't heard anything about the film yet. Ridley Scott says it's one of the best scripts he's ever had, but I don't know what that means when it comes out of Ridley Scott's mouth. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see. He's kind of my uh, emperor. You know, I, I never know when to trust him or when he's just trying to, to kill my friends on Indoor. In an unprecedented bold move, director Ridley Scott, along with Imperative Entertainment, Dan uh, Friedkin and Bradley Thomas, have decided to remove Kevin Spacey from their finished movie, All the Money in the World. Christopher Plummer has been set to replace Spacey in the role of John Paul Getty. Reshoots of the key scenes are expected to commence immediately, Scott is also to determine to keep the film's December 22nd release date. In a unified front, the cast and crew of the film and Sony Pictures unanimously agreed to reshoot all of Spacey's scenes with Mark Wahlberg and Michelle Williams' cooperation part of the mix. That move resulted after a weekend of back and forth with Scott and Friedkin in particular incensed that the sordid allegations against Spacey might doom a film that Scott dropped everything to direct and on which so many people worked hard and did not deserve to see the results hobbled in the marketplace because of a taint, the taint of scandal. So they took control of the narrative, Scott is a maverick, and he didn't shrink under the pressure to restage the key scenes involving John P Paul Getty. The producer's support of Scott gives the movie a chance for a fair shake in the marketplace and potentially an award season, which would not have happened had Spacey's scenes been left intact after the troubling allegations leveled against the actor. David Scarpa adapted the John Pearson book. Okay, so there's a... Imperative Entertainment financed the film, and Freakin' and Thomas produced along with Scott Freeze Scott and Kevin J. Walsh, Quentin Curtis, Mark Huffman, and Chris Clark. Scott, once before, was forced to deal with reshooting on a film following the death of Oliver Reed and the Oscar-winning Gladiator. 
All right, so what's there to say about this? Uh, well, you know, Hollywood's trying to cover this stuff up pretty fast. And I don't mean cover it up like hide it. Uh, they're just trying to um, fix the problem real quick. They got a leak. They got a leak and a lot of things are starting to flood. Their basement's flooding and they're trying to uh, put something over the leak. Because, you know, Kevin Spacey was everywhere. He was just in Baby Driver, a hit movie. Um, he was on, you know, a popular television show. He's one of the most famous actors of the last uh, 20 years. And he was working on this movie. He was going to work on a lot of other movies. So, you know, now people are having to figure out ways to work around that. And it's it's going to happen with not only this, but with, I mean, like the Weinstein Company. Um, you know, now Kevin Smith and Ben Affleck say they send all their residuals um you know, to charity, they don't want to make any more money. Although I don't know how much money Kevin Smith was really making from Harvey Weinstein. You know, a lot of people are coming out though. Uh, Tarantino is looking for another company to work with. He's no longer going to work with the Weinsteins. Um, it's just a, uh, it, you know, the House of Cards is legitimately falling. Uh, a lot of what was the idea, I guess, we had of uh, Hollywood and a lot of these people is being broken down, and not just broken down for us, but people who were working with these uh, people that hired them and. Uh, and, uh, you know, cast them in their work or, or they produce their work. You know, it's crazy. This goes in so many directions. Um, Spacey is, you know, is a guy that now it's coming out more and more that he was just kind of an a-hole. Um, interviews from some cast members from Baby Driver said he was kind of a bully. And apparently he's just a very stuck-up kind of diva, prissy-esque guy. And, uh, you know, just just all this. And now the stuff with Louis C.K. Now Louis C.K.'s film is getting dropped. Um, you know, I, I could see a show getting canceled on FX. I really could. And he had an HBO special get dropped, too. Um, you know, in the Louis C.K., those rumors had been around for a while. Jesus, I was hearing about those a couple years ago. And, you know, I was thought, is that going to all come out really bad? And, yeah, yeah, New York, New York Times, of course. Um, so it's, man, it's just crazy. Because these are, man, I love Louis C.K. And I loved Kevin Spacey, like, big fan of both. And it's just weird that, uh... We're in this strange time uh, that all of these these big figures, these big icons, are just kind of like falling down really fast. And it's not it's not a political thing. It's not you know it's a lot of people are trying to make this totally political, or just rejoice in in some kind of I don't know they're rejoicing in this. You know I don't think it's good news. I don't like finding out that people that I thought were pretty cool are are just uh are are douchey dudes. You know it sucks. You want to you know you want to just enjoy the idea of them you don't you don't have to meet them that's fine i get the idea don't meet don't meet your idols you know they're going to disappoint you i'm not even meeting them though you know they're just disappointing me from across the computer screen uh, but it isn't about me it's about the victims and that's the part that really sucks is uh you know that work forever is going to be a little tainted by this stuff I, I i could separate the art from the artist i have no issue with that but you know, when we look back at the legacy of Kevin Spacey or the legacy of Louis C.K., now there's always going to be somebody, you know, adding that point to it. Um, there's always going to be that 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 extra little bit, and uh, that's going to be interesting to see how it progresses. I'm not that interested in this movie. I hate to say that. I didn't like the trailer. Um, it looked kind of dull to me. That doesn't mean it'll be boring. I'm sure it'll get very good reviews, and I will still find it to be a very dull movie. Like, just because it gets Oscar nominations doesn't uh, mean that I'm going to enjoy it. Um, I've, I've, I've been bored by many an uh, Oscar winner. Um, but, you know, hey, hopefully for Ridley Scott and everyone involved, it goes well. I'm sure they're spending a little bit of money here to move things around. And honestly, Christopher Plummer's maybe a better choice than Kevin Spacey, in all honesty. It's maybe a more interesting choice. I um, mean, you might get more out of that actor. You know, instead of Spacey wearing this ridiculous makeup. Uh, to look like Getty. So leave your opinion in the comment section. Like and subscribe. Uh, I know this is tough stuff to talk about, people. I have a hard time talking about it, too. But this is movie news, okay? Th this doesn't happen too often. They don't usually go reshoot scenes of a movie with another actor once it's done and try to keep it very close because they, they do have a release date in December. Now, I think people are overestimating how hard this is going to be. This is Ridley Scott, okay? This is a guy's a, a very technical director. It shouldn't be hard at all for him to go back and reshoot uh, 10 days of, of filming um, with with that Kevin Spacey was in. If he has the money and everything and they already have the scenes, that means they know how to block the scenes already. They already have the, the pace of the scenes figured out, the pitch. And really, Scott does storyboards of like almost all of his scenes before he directs anything. So 
Um, I think this is going to be easy. I, I, I don't, I'm, I'm not exaggerating. I think this is going to be an easy thing. I think they're going to go film those scenes, edit them into the movie, and pretty much keep the movie almost exactly the same uh, outside of Christopher Plummer performing. And I think it'll take no time at all. It might even take less than 10 days. They might get it done in like a, a few days. I could easily see that. Um, if it, you know, if it was some indie director and there was a lot of more, but the fact that it's Ridley Scott, it's it's a film that's probably got a decent budget and everyone's on board and they want to get this done. This is going to get done fast and efficiently so they can move on. I think that's the case. Uh, but all I have to say about it is, please rewind your VHS tapes before you bring them back to the store. I don't want to have to do it, and uh, please don't bring in your uh, VHS copy of American Beauty. I'm definitely not rewinding that right now.